So now we're going to look at what to do with quadratic equations that have a horizontal shift. Remembering that we have this base format of a quadratic equation that is here with the vertex at zero and go over one, up one, over one, up one, and fill it out. So that's our base format. And we've done that in other videos, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's take a look at what it's going to look like if we do something a little different now. So now what happens if we put, say, the two inside the squared term? Okay, so now if we put the two inside the squared term, I want to make my xy table, and I'm going to pick some different numbers. I'm going to pick them differently on purpose. Okay, I'm going to pick instead of 0, negative 1, and 0, I'm going to pick um, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? And it's not that important. Well, it's important why I did it, but it's not going to be necessary for you to know how to pick these numbers because you're going to get the pattern here in a second. All right, so I have 1 minus 2 squared. So it's negative 1 squared, which is 1. 2 minus 2 squared, which is 0 squared, which is not 0. I mean, it is 0, it's not 1. And then 3 minus 2 squared is 1 squared is 1. So I have two, three, three points here. I have 1, 1, 2, 0, and 3, 1. So I have 1, 1, 2, 0, and 3, 1. 1, 1, 2, 0, and 3, 1. So the question is, now, what has happened? Excitingly enough, um, <laughs> you'll see that you shifted your graph over, that looks weird, you've shifted your graph over to the right two spots, right? So we've gone right two, okay? So our vertex, our new vertex is now, um, let's try this again. Our new vertex is now two, zero, and our new axis of symmetry, axis O symmetry, is now x equals two, just like that. So this is actually kind of weird because it's a little backwards. You'll notice this is a minus sign. It actually moves us to the right two. Okay, so this is something that's kind of weird. You're just going to have to remember it. A negative sign is going to move you to the right, which is kind of counterintuitive, whereas a positive sign is going to move you, there is, there is, a positive sign is going to move you to the left. Okay, so now even without having to draw a graph, I can go in here and I can say I'm going to use my base but it's going to move to the left, 3, and then from there, it's just um, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, and go to town, like that. Okay, so my new vertex is at 0, negative 3, and my axis of symmetry, axis O symmetry is x equals negative 3. Wait a second. I didn't do this right. Try this again. Negative 3, 0. Ooh, did I do that wrong the other one? No, I did it right there. I'm just dumb. Um, so your vertex is now negative 3, 0. Your axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3. So that's pretty cool because it um, actually works out pretty well. Um, it's just a question of remembering that when it's on the inside of the parenthesis, it does the opposite of what you think it should do.